we must not only ask God for things, but also be willing to work with God. And one of the vital ways that we work with God is in our attitude. And one of the big areas of attitude to work with God in is believing in a bright tomorrow, in a bright future. In Jeremiah 29, verse 11 and 12, it says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope, and then you call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Well, I ask you today, how bright is your future? The answer, if you trust God's promises, is that your future is very bright indeed. Remember, it's not just you. It's God and you. And God's future is bright. And God can come through you. God can work through you. God can think inside of you. Now, here's a slightly different question. How bright do you believe your future will be? Are you anticipating an absolutely terrific tomorrow? Or are you dreading a terrible, terrible future? Your answer is important because your outlook and your expectation are in your free will, and it can block your good. You have a powerful impact on the way that tomorrow will turn out. Corey Ten Bloom offered this advice. Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. I love that. I'm going to repeat it. Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. And it's advice that we should all take to heart. God has good plans for each of us, including you. So trust God's promises. Look forward in your life to a bright future and get to work building a better today. God bless you.